this goes up on your fan box on the ceiling so this will go up there then all you do is you hook it like so so you're just going to take this if I didn't suck so you just take your ceiling mount and it slides like so and you will rotate it so that it locks in like so and that's basically all it is to it you hook up your hook up your remote with your extra wire here make sure to mount your safety chain that way if the worst case happens this can hold everything and then it's just test it and go from there so next up I'm gonna get my ladder set up and we're gonna install this next up is installation so what you need first your bracket and a screwdriver we we'll use Robertson up in the Great White North so first thing we'll move our wires loosen off our screws and remove them put the first one there next up second screw now I like to have my ball mount towards me and this guy will run the wires through the center because we're going to tuck as much into the box as we can but to start with let's just get the bracket up The next step is one I usually forget, but it's very helpful if you can remember to do it. And that is, take your Phillips, and you want to remove one of these screws. So we want to remove one all the way put it on your little cubby on your ladder and then loosen this one off about an eighth of an inch the reason being if you don't do these before you do your hookups your fan is in the way and it's very tricky in order to get your screwdriver in to make this work next up we are going to hang our fan it's always the next step because once you've got your bracket on that's what your brackets up there for you will see that the ball here is keyed. The key goes on the back side of the bracket. So we'll take the fan up, move our wires to this side, and it's just a matter of hooking it in and then rotate it so it drops in. And now it can't come down. Now it's just a tedious process of getting it hooked up. The next thing that I like to do is get my safety chain hooked up. That way I can 
forget about it. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. I like to leave enough because we have a we have our module that's going to go in here. So you want to leave enough to be able to move it around in order to get that module installed. And then a lot of the times, oh, I can do it like that. So we have a brace that runs across here and we have a brace that's on this side of the box. And I will not be able to brace to this one, but I can this one. So we're gonna put a screw in here as extra support outside of the box itself. And then we'll wrap our safety chain around that and that will give us a very secure mounting point for the for the fan in, in case the worst would happen. And they have a supplied screw for this. Unfortunately, again, Phillips, because America, I will never understand America's infatuation with Phillips. It is an awful, awful, awful style of screw. Don't be afraid to move your ladder around. Just remember that your screw is on the top and you don't want to lose that other screw. So next up, we're just going to put this. The exact reason why I don't understand Phillips, it slips so easy and it's so easy to strip out. Always wrap things to the right. That way your screw tightens it down instead of loosening it when you're trying to... See, it just strips. So now I have to use a flathead. That is all snugged up now. Left myself enough to be able to get my... Um, my module in there. And the next step is hooking up the module. I always try to leave as much wire as I can or that makes sense. So for here, for these clients, if they wanted, I want to make sure that I can leave enough for them to put a longer down rod on. So I'll leave enough wire to where it would be uncomfortable to, to put a down rod on. So what we're gonna do, if we go there, that takes us to the six foot range and you're not gonna put in that long of a down rod because it's too close to hitting yourself in the head. And we'll just take off the extra wire. Everything is color-coded, so you just match up your wires. Yellow is yellow, red is red, gray is gray. Your white and your blue go to your fan. Your white, your black, and your green go to your supply side. So next up, is just getting our extra safety cable. We're lucky here, we're on a deck, so there's no insulation above. So I'm just gonna shove it up into the soffit above. It's best to try to deal with it so that it is not in your way in a few minutes. Next up, this is just going to push into our hole here usually pushes in from the open side so you just put her in there like so 
We have our supplied marrettes. Some twist ties to hold your extra wire out of the way. First up is just going to be getting our grounds, our three grounds tied together. Or our four grounds. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So we've got one from the bracket, we have one from the module. We have one from the fan, and we have the box ground. So all four are going to go together with a marat. And just make sure that, see, was not on there well enough. So and not everything was under, so we'll just reposition and do it again. And twist these together first, hold it next to our bear, and it's not gonna go again. Something's not right here. This should be a might not be big enough. Once more, let's try it. There we go, that felt like it grabbed. Yeah, that grabbed, so now that we have that, we'll just tuck that up in the top for now. Now we have our power and our neutral is here, is gonna to go to here, but I'm gonna wait on that. Let's do our fan connections first. So we'll, let's do our light first. We cut it, so we need to strip it now. white to white, blue to blue. Make sure you use the right ones. Too light, white, too light, blue. These were also marked, which are to your fan. These ones are marked line in, neutral, and ground. So these have to go to your house wiring. So next up, we'll just make sure our fan and our two fan, or two, We will make sure that our two light and our light are wired together. And now they are. Here is the end result. We have our puck lights installed, we have the fan installed and working, as well as all of the six pot lights installed and working. Everything turned out so great. I'm very, very happy with the results and so is the client.